<laughs> Greetings, YouTube. I am the rare and elusive creature known as Venomous Woe. So how are you? Right, let's get started. I want to talk about something that, um, well, I only really thought of about half an hour ago. Windows 8! Yes, yes, I know, it's another Windows 8 opinion video. But quite honestly, I feel like making one! So what's the big twist to this Windows 8 opinion video? Well, absolutely nothing. This is just my own take on, what I, on how successful Windows 8 is going to be. And judging by the title, it's not going to be a very good one! If that's all you really want, then just stick around. Otherwise, then... Doors that way. As the title suggests, I do not think Windows 8 is going to be very successful. At all. It's not because of Metro. No, 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 no. Metro is a minor thing. Metro is not that big a deal. It's just another cover for a Microsoft Start menu now, so there's no real crisis there. It's not going to be that legacy applications aren't going to be supported on ARM anymore. It's because how are you going to use applications like Microsoft Word and DirectX games, legacy DirectX games, on a touchscreen? That's what I want to know. But, um, yeah, the real reason why I think Microsoft Windows 8 is not going to be very good is because of fragmentation. That's right. I think the Windows OS is becoming fragmented. In the past, you just had about three or four different versions of Windows that pretty much just did the same thing. Now you've got three versions of Windows that are so different from one another. You have Windows 8 for desktop and laptop PCs. You have Windows RT, which is Windows for ARM tablets. And you have Windows Phone, which is for mobile phones, of course. What really strikes me about this whole Windows 8 triad is just so how different these OSs are. They won't use the same programs, they won't use the same interfaces, and Microsoft expects developers to be on board with this? I don't think so. I really think Microsoft should have focused on unifying the Windows OS, keeping as little distance between their phones and tablets as possible, like what Google did with Android Ice Cream Sandwich. Now, basically, it's like you have two different operating systems for two different devices instead of just one operating system that fits across a spectrum of devices. So I don't really get how Microsoft is going to really nail the consumer with this. Now granted, Windows is still going to sell, at least on the desktop, because of the gaming community that still depends on DirectX and just legacy applications in general that are enticing to some. But really, as far as the phone and tablet space are concerned, which is where the real money is going to be made in the next few years, Windows 8 has it is going to be at rock bottom. Personally, I don't think that Microsoft knows what it's doing. In fact, I don't think they ever knew what they were doing. To me, Microsoft is like Brian from Monty Python's Life of Brian. In case if you hadn't seen the movie, Brian becomes the Christian savior instead of Jesus, not because he's profound or wise or intelligent, but because he just happened to be in the right place at the right time. And that's how I feel Windows is. They're only successful because they're just in the right place at the right time. And they make any competitive business deals like banning Netscape on their earlier Windows OSs so they can push out Internet Explorer. But I digress. So yeah, that's my little spiel. It wasn't long, but honestly, I don't think it needed to be. In summary, Windows 8 is not going to do well because of the fragmented nature of the new OS. Peace.